Hi guys, Len here. I'm just doing a video on uh, my sucker pump and um, the modification I've made so that I can continuously pump and it'll go through that hose, the gravel and the water into this bucket. So the top for this bucket I, um, I've drilled holes so the water can come out and you can see here I've put hot glue, I've used a hot glue gun to keep the hose in place. Okay, I'm just going to hand it over to a mate because I want to show you the valve that I've used in my um, pump. So if you just show the end here, Byron. This is the part that goes on to the valve. This is a valve I've come from the outlet, so it's going to suck up here. I've got another valve on this. I don't know if you can see it down through there. But that this this valve will allow water to come in this way, right? So it'll come in this way and then close as I go to pump out through this one. When this this one goes onto the hose and into the bucket, this one I've, I've got a new design because I wanted somewhere for the valve to sit. Hang on, I'll just clean this out a bit. Put the gravel in there. This one I actually found a little bit of another PVC that fits perfectly inside this one. I think this is 40 mil, 40 mil. So I don't know what size this one is, but this one fits perfectly in there. So I've made a bit of plastic on here so that this rubber that I've got had a nice surface, surface to glue on. Plus I cut the plastic out to fit around the inside of that on this side. So when, the, when I suck back the other way, this rubber will close, allow me to suck up from the other way. So this, I've just been mucking around with valves and this one seems to work really good. So I'm gonna show you now how all this works. So I just put this on here. I usually have so the rubber, the bottom part comes out there. Then I'll just put this on onto the pump. Now I'll just put the lid on to the bucket. If you could just this goes on nice and tight. And I usually just put a dick on here, you can put a rock or something when you're in the creek. And now I'll just show you how easy this is. It doesn't need much work at all. And then I'll show you the gravel that'll it'll come up and how quickly the bucket fills up with water. Okay. As if as Bailey shows you the water and gravel going down through this hose, you can hear it going in. As you can see, the pressure stays in there. I could stop for a while and then I could keep pumping. Holds the pressure really good. And as you'll see, after a few pumps, how much this, how quick this water's going down into that bucket. All you've got to do is get in the creek, get in down your bedrock, in between some big rocks. Just start pumping. Alright, that'll do me. What I'll do now is I'll just take this off. Just this, I'm going to let that come down in here. Mind the old days when I was doing this with wine, when I was helping Dad take wine out of his barrels. We used to have to do that to get the wine, the rest of the wine. But this ain't wine. So as you can see, just after that, a few pumps. When this fills up, water will just come out and all your gravels and gold will just go in the bottom here. So as you can see, just after those few pumps, just, just show. I'm just going to empty this bowl and get this water back. Yeah. I'm just going to show you guys the gravel that we found.
Okay guys, I don't know if you could see that, but that's the gravel that we've just sucked up. Can you see it alright? So there you go, and that's just after a few pumps. I mean, you could go for a fair while and half fill your bucket with gravel or as much as you want, and then you can go and pan it out or put it through your sluice. So I hope you like it guys. Hope um, anyone wants to make one of these sucker pump modifications. I hope all this helps. Okay guys, then signing off, bye for now.